Hey everybody, welcome back to another Motivation Monday podcast for Monday, May 4th, 2020. Hope everybody is doing well out there, staying uh, safe and healthy. This is the first Motivation Monday podcast of the month of May, so you know what that means, a brand new transcription assignment. And I'm really excited about this one. This is uh, one of my favorite recordings, one of my favorite solos, and one of my favorite musicians. So the musician is Kenny Dorham, great trumpeter, who I'm positive that you've heard of before, has so many famous recordings, was on so many recordings as a sideman, just one of the most in-demand trumpet players and composers in the history of jazz. Now, the album that this is on is from 1959. It's called Quiet Kenny, and the tune is Mac the Knife, an amazing old-school standard swing-style tune. And Kenny's solo on this is just pure class. And there's a couple of reasons that I want you to transcribe this. The first one is that I think this sort of makes sense as the next step uh, in our process of transcribing more and more difficult things. This solo is surprisingly difficult to actually transcribe. It sounds pretty simple on the surface, but then when you start to dive into it, there are a lot of things that Kenny Dorham does that kind of defy notation and there's a lot of like really subtle stuff in the solo that you're going to have to spend a long time figuring out so a lot of the solo you're just going to be able to kind of get it you know first pass figure out exactly what he's playing but then there's going to be several parts in this where you're really going to have to spend a big chunk of time on a very very small amount of material and that's all part of transcribing so i think that that's going to be an important step in your development as a musician and as a person who does transcription on a regular basis. Now the second thing that I want you to focus on is Kenny Dorham actually plays a lot of really advanced harmonic language in this solo. Again, it's really subtle and it kind of comes out of nowhere at you, but there's a lot of really cool harmonic devices that he uses on this that I think will be really valuable to all of you. Some stuff that you can kind of take and put into your own playing almost right away. And the way in which he incorporates some of those more advanced harmonic concepts is so seamless. So that should also give you some great ideas on maybe where and how to use some of that stuff that's a little bit more out or uses some of that tension that's a real thing to pay attention to. How does he use tension in his solo for the greatest effect on the listener? Where does that tension resolve? And how much of it is he using? Like how much is he pacing his use of tension and release against stuff that's just totally inside the chord changes and doesn't make you blink an eye when you hear it. It just fits perfectly with the solo. You know, Kenny Dorham is one of the best composers in the history of jazz, and I think the way that he solos is very compositional, meaning that when you transcribe his solos, you're going to notice that his solos are almost well-structured enough to be compositions in themselves. And that's a really cool thing. We don't always get that a lot. Um, but Kenny Dorm is one of those unique people that I really feel like plays in a very compositional way. Now, the third thing that I want you to pay attention to, since this month is all about jazz articulation, that's one of the big reasons that I chose to Kenny Dorm for this month's transcription project. Kenny Dorm really has some of the most unique uh, articulation styles that I've ever heard and he actually flies in the face of a lot of the conventional wisdom that we're going to talk about on these episodes but one part of this series on articulations is when and how you should sort of break the rules that i'm laying out and why you should do it and what you should be thinking about when you're breaking some of those sort of commonly accepted rules about how to articulate over swing music Kenny Dorm flies in the face of a lot of that stuff, but it sounds so good. So I think that he's like a perfect model of, you know, just like everything else in jazz, articulation is very personal, which I've already mentioned on the first episode of this month. How is he breaking the rules and why? And why does it sound so good when he breaks the rules? So I want you to think about that as well when you're transcribing this. 
really, really zero in on the articulation and try to match up perfectly with what Kenny Dorham is doing. And then we're going to talk about a few of those concepts in later episodes. But I think this will just be a very parallel solo uh, to transcribe, you know, to go along with the Friday lessons that we're putting out. They're going to be all about articulation this month. So all in all, I think this is going to be a great solo. Again, if you want to look it up on your own, the album is called Quiet Kenny from 1959. I'm also going to include a YouTube video in the show notes on the website at 10minutejazzlesson.com. So you can go and grab that YouTube video if you don't have Spotify or aren't using it or some other kind of streaming service, or maybe you even have this on a CD. What a concept. Um, so just find it. There are tons of ways to find this particular recording. And basically, you're going to do the entire solo. It's not a very long track. If you want to go above and beyond, you know, transcribe the head in and the head out as well. Um, see if you can do every second of this recording if you're really looking to be a superstar this month. But that's it. That's our transcription project for this month. If you've got any questions, leave them for me in the 10-Minute Jazz Lesson Community Facebook group. That is the best place to get in touch with me. And most of all, have fun with this month's transcription project. I think you're really, really going to dig this recording and this solo. And if you're not uh, familiar with Kenny Dorham's playing, it's about time you become acquainted with him, one of the best musicians who ever lived. All right, everybody. Keep things going. I'm really looking forward to hearing all of these transcription projects uh, sometime this month. And this is one of my favorite things to do is hear you guys play uh, the assignments for the month. So we'll talk to you on Friday with a brand new episode. Have a great week and stay safe. Bye.